What's going on, party people? So you want a crypto? Today, Atari. Atari's pretty cool looking. They got some stuff coming up in the future. They got a bright... Yeah, I think they got a bright future. Very bullish on the Atari project and where they're going. So Atari, that's A-T-R-I for the token ticker. $77.2 million market cap. Only $100,000 in the last 24-hour trading bond, which seems really low. But... You can see right here, November 2020, so pretty new project, and uh, it's got a big name. So Atari, let's talk about some stuff that's going down with Atari. We got Atari Games, Atari Casino, the VCS, some partnerships, and the new Atari token. Uh, lots of games and stuff, and Atari's going to start taking Litecoin, you'll see right here, Atari token, Litecoin for payment. The new console, VCS, looks really kind of cool. Uh, the Atari token right here. Contract address. About the Atari token. And some more stuff. Here's their roadmap. Uh, blockchain beds, Atari hotel shipping, so on. So uh, here's an interview with Fred Chesnes. Chesnes? On the blockchain bets, Star Hotel, and shipping the VCS console. This is a pretty cool outfit. You can see the Atari logo on here. There's another one lower. It talks quite a bit. It's a pretty long article, but uh, we're launching a partnership with Engine. We started with Wax. Wax is interesting in the sense that they have a huge audience. We have our first sale there. Those NFTs, I would say, are static. You buy them and own them, and there's not much you can expect other than just to resell them. Uh, the engine, it's slightly different type of NFT. We're trying to embed more functionality like wearing a t-shirt online. You can take the NFT and edit it with your photos and show them off on your shirt or whatever. Uh, and then there's another where they're, it says the third type of NFTs right here. And these are the ones they're doing with Animoca. We have a big license with them. They have the right to use 17 of our games on the blockchain. The first is on Sandbox. Uh, Sandbox is huge. They own, I think they're the, yeah, they're the largest landowner, or it's second largest. Atari is the second largest landowner in Sandbox. It's a virtual world. Uh, they release assets, NFTs, and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Atari's looking at a hotel. The first Atari hotel looks like a gamer's fantasy, and they're talking about opening in Las Vegas, Phoenix, San Jose, San Francisco, Denver, Chicago, Austin. Seattle Here's some drawings of it, but it looks like there's gaming all sorts of stuff some virtual over like augmented overlays and a, a lot of really cool futuristic kind of cyberpunk looking stuff. This is the Vegas drawing you can see No, this is like an all-around because that's San Francisco, and then that's the Space Needle Seattle, so Yeah, there you go. That's just a picture some renderings I guess for different models same thing, just reversed. Stay and play, Atari hotels, vision shop, membership, media, modern hospitality experience inspired by the gaming culture, fueled by imagination and built by our desire to play. Atari hotels celebrate the past with defining the future. They got some news and gear and a new reality experience, a world where video games come to life, where everyone can be anyone and we make the unreal real. We have a membership and stuff. Kind of like a Ready Player One hotel almost. Some more uh, Atari Hotel Visions. The designs. See, this is a, a close-up of the one we looked at before. Same here. Atari shared first look at the Atari Mothership Hotel, and it's pretty wild. And that's the one we looked at, too, the Mothership. And more articles. It's pretty much same pictures. Nothing really new there. Atari's new PC console hybrid, the VCS, an icon reimagined. I think it's sleek and cool. These are wireless. You got the Xbox Universal style controller here and the old school paddle controller. Classic with a twist, retro favorites, reborn. I, yeah, I think this is a big seller right here because not everybody's going to want to roll this. And this has much, this is more versatile, you know. Uh, some games, we'll talk about that. PC mode. You can pre-order. 
Atari partners with Litecoin Foundation, adding Litecoin as a means of payment for the upcoming Atari token, Atari VCS game system, and other future products. And I, I think Litecoin will be, you know, they got a good future too. If things start, when things start moving again, Litecoin should see a good pump too. There's people working with them. This was in May 2020. And these things take time to kind of, you know, the hotel is going to take time to build. We're, we're looking at a three to five year plan here. Uh, Atari is going to do really well. Here's AntStream Arcade. This is what Atari VCS is going to use. Here is the AntStream Arcade, the easiest place in the world to play the most iconic games of all time. Join our live tournament today. We see Earth, Earthworm Jim was always one of my favorites. Mortal Kombat, I like that. Pac-Man, Galaga. They're all cool. You see multi-platform, multi-use, play for free, sign up, telegrams, links. And here's some games, you know, Space Invader, uh, yeah, Double Dragon, dang. Uh, so I, I thought I'd throw this in here too. With all of this augmented reality, virtual reality games, the sandbox, and so much more, you can build stuff for these and trade NFTs on your own. And to do that, Vox Edit, go through, watch some videos, learn. You know, you can make models, animate, block editing for, you know. There's a lot you can do. Here's some examples of creations. And, and you could probably, you know, if you have a cool product, you, there's a chance you could make money doing this or tokens, you know an exchange system but we see atari animoca brands care bear roller coaster Tycoon. this is uh the partners sean the sheep clayton wax nft flow crypto kitties maker and so many more uh planetarium yeah i i, I really think that uh you know if you, if you like NFTs, maybe look at making them. That's just all I'm saying. Here's the modeling. So this is where you, you know, the voxel models. It's really not that hard. You watch the videos. If you can use paint or, you know, Photoshop, stuff like that, you could figure out how to use this. Anyway, moving on. So here's the Animoca brands. See, this is the stuff you can build. Uh, what you just saw back there. But we got some paint Power Rangers, latest announcements. I'm not going to dig too much into the Animoca. We've talked about it a bunch. Uh, they have quite a bunch of products. They're a big name. But I do want to talk about, and this is the one I'm telling you that's probably going to have, you might hear this name again. Right now it's all in Japanese, literally. Uh, but it's called Hash Palette. When you ask, what is Hash Palette? They're working with Neo, IOST, Ontology, Animoca Brands, who will be OKCoin okay in Japan. They're a Japanese NFT so we'll go through, I'm just gonna show you all the Japanese. These are your founders, it looks like, co-CEOs. But right here, get set, we're joining Palette. Animoca Brands is joining Palette, is excited to join the Palette Consortium as a consensus node operator to assist in the governance of Palette, a new blockchain network. Uh, we can see IOST Hash Palette, a new member of Japan's Hash Palette blockchain network. Okay, it goes. The world is going entirely digital and DLT, distributed ledger technology. The building blocks of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is rapidly revolutionizing art. And that's where we get the NFTs and stuff, right? So the NFT market grew massively <coughs> over the recent, you know, months, years, but mostly months. Notably, Hashpallet has revealed that its ecosystem is powered by the Pallet blockchain, a decentralized network operated by consensus nodes through a staking mechanism, and IOST has now been chosen as one of the projects that will govern the Pallet Consortium. Commenting down, you can read more about the Pallet Consortium, but there's more projects here. Japan edges closer to its first IEO and NFT platform. And Japan is about to welcome its first initial exchange offering, and yes, you guessed it, as the most... Uh, as with almost everything else that is currently happening in the crypto world, it's a non-fungible token flavored project. Um, in the first plan formulated back in August last year, the IEO involves the launch of a platform named Hash Palette, a joint venture that involves the Tokyo Stock Exchange listed link or listing firm LinkU, software developer firm 
manga related apps and hashboard a business consulting provider that makes use of blockchain technology official launch of testnet of an entertainment blockchain palette and this isn't it's not out as far as i know this is really all i've kind of found on this for now but this was one day ago Cryptocurrency Exchange Public Blockchain Project and listed companies participate in the consortium that operates the Testnet. Hashpallet Inc. officially started operation on the Testnet of the blockchain network, the Pallet, specialized in entertainment field on March 2nd, 2021. So this was three days ago. Neo, Ontology, IOST, Icon, CoinCheck. Okay, we talked about most of these, but Animoca Brands, NFTs, and then there's your hash palette again. Palette is a blockchain network optimized for content distribution using non-fungible tokens and aims to enhance global distribution of contents from Japan through the blockchain. So Japan's idea with this, or the, the idea with this, is that Japan wants to become the NFT capital of the world, much like... China is trying to become the financial district of the world. They want to be the NFT kind of district of the world. Another major feature of the pallet is that it implements cross-chain technology and the issued NFT can trans be transferred to other blockchain networks. The testnet supports cross-chain with three blockchain networks right now, Ethereum, NEO, and Ontology, and they plan to expand to a number of other supported blockchains in the very near future. Pallet has been researched and developed mainly by Hash Palette Inc., which was established on March 2nd, 2020, so a year ago, and has been in trial operation since November 2020, so just four or five months ago. And the network became stable. We entered the phase of operating a testnet with the consensus mode. So this is very new. And we see the following companies are participating. Here's Neo, Ontology, IOST, Icon, CoinCheck, and Animoca. So we are always looking for ways to facilitate mass adoption of blockchain and NFTs, including solutions to the problems of high transaction fees and long transaction times. That's why we are excited to become a node operator for Pallet, the new blockchain dedicated to non-fungible content for popular entertainment. Here's Animoca, and again, on Animoca Brands, they're, you know, promoting the, the same thing in Japanese. And finally, here's the sandbox. It, it's really cool. Uh, it's like Minecraft grade quality. Uh, see, look at all the land that Atari owns. They got land everywhere on this place. Uh, game experiences token. But you can see it's, it's kind of Minecraft quality as far as the uh, resolution.